I already read this. And okay, perfect. Um Close eyes, why would she close your eyes? Phone, black phone. All right. Oh, there's chapters. Oh, okay. I, I wish I looked at them. We'll have to get some ga Yeah, for sure. I really miss Val. It's now been like, a whole year since I've seen my family. One second. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However, there was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. And because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. So I was transferred from the hospital directly to the nearest clinic for mentally disturbed people. No visitors were allowed there. Not even my own family. It took me almost the whole year to deal with the behavioural disorder. And even now, it isn't normal. So I'll probably have to live with it until further notice. They didn't want to talk to me about the exact causes and said that such disorders can often occur in such accidents. Anyway, the day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. She'll be 16. So, I thought that on the day of my release, I would meet Sam directly and we would go to our parents' house to celebrate her birthday. She called me right after my release and said that she'd found a park nearby where we can meet. It's already quite late. So I have to hurry. Alright. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was talking to another smallish streamer. Oh, a new message? From Sam, perhaps? Well, she can fucking wait. Um, and I asked her, like, how she grew, because she's still smaller, but she still averages about, I don't know, maybe 60 viewers or so. And I asked her, and she said that, um, well, she recommends making, like, lots of shorts and TikToks and stuff like that. She also said that she thinks it helps your channel when you mostly play one game. Like, what would be good is, like, you know, I kind of started off with Valorant. I think that's where a lot of my followers are from. And she said that you should start off with your main game every stream and then you can, because then more people will come in. And then you can switch to another game like at the end of stream or something. Um, and then if the people want to stay, they can, but um, it's good to play your main game, right? So she, like, I should start off with Valorant and then play something else after. Yeah, I gotta start remembering to do, like, clips and stuff. Um, I think that's one thing that I suck at and I'm way too lazy to like go through my VODs. Like I post my VODs and stuff like I'll chop parts out like if I play Valorant for three hours I will chop that out of a stream and put it on YouTube and then chop the next part put that on YouTube whatever game. I like to separate the games you know. Um, but you know people people seem to prefer like edited videos you know what I mean. And I don't edit them I literally just post them as they are. Um, because I'm way too lazy to learn how to edit, and I just don't have the time. Um, yeah, so you've been playing a lot of Overwatch lately, and you did good today on Val. Yeah, I really want to start playing Val again. I'm just gonna have to start soloing, I think. You can easily grab 1k viewers per video with Val. You think so? I feel like nobody- okay, probably on shorts, you're right. On shorts, I was gonna say, like, any of the videos I post to YouTube as they are, if they're, like, hours long, nobody watches them. But shorts, yeah, shorts are so, so good. Um, like, my ex, not to bring him up, but, um, he, um, he's already got, he, uh, he does stream, he streams on YouTube now, but, um, he grew his channel to over, like, 1,000, uh, followers, subscribers. Um, just from his shorts.
Yeah, not long form. Yeah, nobody watches my long form Valorant clips. That's why I like I'll listen to like DMCA music when playing like Valorant or shooter games because nobody watches them. Story games like this, I wouldn't because you know if I can make money on this video someday, that'd be cool. But I just play Valorant so much that it really doesn't matter. All right. Plus R to open Messenger. Can I? Gonna be there soon. Great. Can't wait, Alex. Where are you? Can I answer? I'll go on a binge watch and watch every YouTube video you've made on. Really? Make me money? Yeah, once I'm partnered on it someday, that's gonna be fucking wild. I think you need like a thousand... You need a thousand subscribers to get partnered, but you also need enough watch time, and that's fucking hard. Like, enough watch time within a year. The fuck? Where am I going? To be honest, I have no idea. Also, like, we didn't answer her. I don't know. Alright, well, I think I made this game a little too dark, no? Does it look good? Right, let's see if I can go in these doors. I'm pretty sure we go in the woods though. I either played the demo of this or I watched somebody play it. I'm thinking I go back this way, yeah? Let's just go this way. We're fucking slow as shit though. Sam? That's not Sam. Look, we're looking through an eyeball, I think. Press shift to sprint. Thank you! You scroll wheel to change the phone flashlight intensity. It doesn't work. Oh, I see. Why would I want to hold my phone out like that? Why are you holding it right in front of your eye? I think that makes it worse. No? No one has really wanted to play Val much this episode, not sure what's going on. I think it's because all the sweaty people are on. Like literally, all the games are miserable, like I'm at 0RR. I mean I got silver, but I'm like gonna lose it, you know? Yeah, I don't like the phone. I'd much rather just walk in the dark like this. But what is this? An item? Is that a candle? Candle. What is it? Uh, what is this picture in my head? Same old Val. One out of three memories found. Can I look at it? Find your sister. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going. This flashlight sucks ass. I swear my iPhone flashlight's better. Oh yeah, I heard comp is pretty mi It is miserable. It is. We got fucking destroyed 5 to 13- or 4 to 13. A friend placed iron 3. She has been trying to grind up to bronze 1 all weekend. Iron? I feel bad. I got bronze 2 and now I am back at silver. The fuck just happened? I think my phone's dying. Oh. Alright, let's sprint. Let's go this way. Uh, some little shit just took a picture of me. Did you hear that? Somebody's fucking out here taking pictures. What the fuck was that? Hmm? Fuck's taking pictures. Hmm. She's at zero R right now. She's scared. Wait on iron three or wait on iron three. She was bronze two, bronze three last act. Oh yeah, I was silver, so that's probably why I got bronze. 
On Iron 3, I feel so bad. She's welcome to play with me. Tell her she's welcome to play with me if she wants. Snackies. Can I have some? Why would you come here late at night? It's fucking weird. Y'all see that? Missing person disclosure. Emily, 26. She's hot. According to new reports, Emily, a married woman, was last seen with her husband, Paul, and her son, Jack, in the park near the clinic for mentally disturbed people. That's where we are. Um, according to witnesses, Emily has often went to the park alone at night to sing near the pond. So that's probably just Emily over there, right? Um, when a witness asked her why she... Wait... Okay, yeah, when a witness asked her why she sang there, she replied that it calmed her down for every argument with her husband. In view of this, her husband disappeared with their son without a trace. The husband is under investigation. They're probably, like, all dead, yeah. If they have any clues or information, please come to the local Wineville police station or contact us using the contact information below. The Wine Valve Police are hosting the safety course again this year on July 30th, 2020. Come to the local police station at 2 p.m. and feel free to take part in this course. The Chief of Wine Valve Police, Elon O'Reilly, <laughs> will be there in person and present for you. Admission is, of course, free of charge. We recommend you to take advantage of this great offer. Snacky Satirlite! <laughs> We'll see, she has been hard sweating all weekend. I was honestly kind of afraid to ask her to play. Really? You know what? She can carry me. Plus, oh, no, I just read it right off of there. Alright, I'm gonna sprint at him. Are you ready? Charge! The fuck? Alright, we're crazy. It's Emily. Wait, do you see that? They just blinked. I'm a murderer, Emily. I'm a goddamn murderer, and I'm so fucking sorry. I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. Please believe me. I was so, so pissed that you kept this from me. And when I came to you, you were already... My god, Emily. I'm so fucking sorry. I know I can never make it up to you, but I promise I will take care of Jack with all my strength. I am such a bad father. Such a goddamn bad father. Now Jack will have to grow up without a mother, and it's all because of me. I wish even though I know it won't happen, but we will see each other again in the next life. I hope you are well in heaven. Your husband, Paul. So, okay. Good night! Don't miss you. <laughs> okay, so... How'd the police never find this fucking letter? Hmm? I'm sorry, I can't carry you tired, tired, tired. It's okay, my eyes burn too, it's fine. I get it. Aw, oh, shit. Alright. Is that a... What the hell? I... No. I don't want anything to do with this, god damn it, no! I want to go to the singing lady. Emily. What's that red light over there? So, okay. The demo I watched, it. I think it ends at the red light. Fuck off. Another map piece? Wait, is there a map? Hmm. Coca Cola. Can't drink any of it though. That was an awful sound. I'm just saying. I think Emily haunts this park. She probably killed her husband. He's probably buried here. And the kid, too, for keeping the secret. Okay, yeah, this is, um... This is where the demo ended, so I'm not really sure what happens next, but it's a phone booth. 
Um, can we close the door, please? No? Alright. Alicia tweaks for twerks for God. Alicia twerks for God. Okay, there. Can I not read this? I swear there was a note in here that we read. No? Do we just enter a number? Hello? I'm looking for my sister Sam in the Winevale Park, but I can't find her. If you cannot speak, please give us a sign so that we can take action. Your location is being tracked. Please stay safe. Please. Can you hear me? My name is Alexander Green, and I'm calling because of my sister- I am deeply sorry. Unfortunately, your location cannot be discernment. We wish you the best and take good care of yourself. What kind of an operator is broken. that? She should be fired. You know, you can't hear anything, you're like, oh my god, are you okay? Like, like, is he around? Is that why you can't speak? Like, are you okay? Okay, it says call me, but where? Where would you like me to call you? Fuck, I don't know. What? Robert and... can't call Sandy for a good night. Missing cat. <gasps> Look at it. Telephone 495-94439. He went missing from our apartment near the park. Please help bring this little guy home. If you think you have seen him, please let us know. 495-944. I think somebody killed that dog. 495 495-944. 495-944. Nine, four, four, three, nine. The number you have reached has been changed. So you go and put your phone number, and what if I found your cat? How am I supposed to contact you if you put, change your fucking phone number? The fuck? How am I supposed to call? I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Hmm, please don't do that. Come on, I know I gotta read this. How can I not... Oh, Samantha's number. How do I know her phone number? Contacts. What do you think contacts is?
What's her fucking phone number? I don't fucking know. It literally just says Samantha. What you mean? The Great Gatsby's party. 10 p.m. Nice. Okay, I need to turn down this light intensity for sure. Abstinence club. Respect yourself. Don't be a slut. <laughs> Join our club and come play. Play with us every day, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And don't forget, hell is always for you. Come to see us all in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. What's her phone number? Is it on the ground? Fucking Jesus. That back up. Hey, Dommy Mommy. Hey. Just gonna click them all, you know? Like, why not? <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Fuck this shit. can't find this again. Okay, um... looking it up. Well, no, there's nothing. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. I guess we'll just continue. There's no way for me to get her number. Why can't I just, like, call it here? No? Can I have that, please? Pick it up. You don't want that? 
Oh! safe here that's cool um there's a fucking somebody was fucking buried here emily emily is buried here um let's just keep going this way Okay, I'm gonna get lost. A tire. This looks like the tire of my must. Ah, oh, my head. I remember taking Sam for a spin in my Mustang. Dude, you probably fucking killed your sister. Nice tire. this a vehicle let's get the fuck out of here she's a goner man like she's get in oh wait isn't that the letter from mom and dad what is he doing he... <sighs> Right. They told me about a deceased relative. Hold on, Sam. You can wait. Wait your turn. Hello, Alex. We are not allowed to come and visit you according to the psychiatry. Psychiatry. We even stood outside the door of it on July 7, 27th and wanted to see you, but they wouldn't let us in. Oh dear, we are so sorry for what happened. You certainly feel for... But it's your fault, Alex. When we got the call from the hospital that you had been involved, accident with Sam, our world fell apart. We went straight to the hospital, but you were in a coma. Every day we visited you, Alex, the day you, you did see us, remember? Unfortunately, you were then transferred to the psychiatry department, but of your diagnosis and however we only noticed this when we saw that you were no longer in your room and when we asked what was happening to you we were informed we want to encourage you with this letter and tell you that we be hard on yourself we are sure that when you the psychiatry you will feel please be with yourself and hold on love mom and dad okay so something happened his sister died and now he's like crazy about it you know like he's like Insane. Uh. That's not my phone. Where's that ringing coming from? Well, well. If it isn't, it's all Alex. Who is this? Where is Sam? Don't worry. Sam is with you. Sam? Who the hell are you and where have you taken her? I won't tell you. Think I can get back this way?
I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where the fuck I was going. So, have you done it yet? I'm almost there. Hold on. Am I? I'm just running. Wait. Sam. Uh, uh, <laughs> Are you uh, kidding me? I think I was getting there. Sam. I have to find Sam. Sam? Wait. But how can that be? Sam, where are you? Are you okay? Wait, I know we haven't seen each other for a long time, but no need to shout like that, Alex. <laughs> but I was just... Hey, you just got released today. Please don't overexert yourself. Where are you anyway? I'm kind of lost in this part. I'm near the north entrance. Oh, I was just there too. You just have to... Sam! Sam! Fucking hell. I don't see a power box. Right? What the? What's happening? off. that, huh? 